According to Charles, this is the spot where two Germans died in a blizzard only a few months ago. Just what I wanted to hear. Mark, mm. how are you? You must feel How am I? Yeah. The less I speak, I'm the better I am. What are you feeling a bit dizzy? Less dizzy now? No, dizzy, dizzy. Less dizzy, okay. Great pill that I took this like morning. Like another cup of tea? Another cup of tea would be one of the greatest moments in my life. <laughs> Most Tibetan pilgrims complete the circuit of Mount Kailash in less than two days, but for some it takes a little longer. This pilgrim will take 13 days to complete a kora by doing it the hard way, some of it over snow and ice. When you circle a holy object, which can be a temple, a mountain, a tree or anything, what you're doing is tapping into its holiness. You're drawing spirit power from it. Now, if you can actually touch the ground all the way round that holy object, as this pilgrim's doing, then you complete the circle and you can draw even more power from it. This mountain is the greatest spirit power place of all, and that's what fascinates me. We've reached the north face of Mount Kailash, and some of us are not doing too well. Both Charles and I are showing clear signs of mountain sickness. I'm disorientated, a classic symptom of fluid on the brain. This can be fatal unless I descend to lower altitude. The alternative is to try out Binod's portable pressure chamber and fool my body into believing it's 8,000 feet lower than it actually is. Right now, I'll try anything. Did I? No, you didn't. Ah. I'm going, go and go and go and go. Oh, my, I left fit in this thing. It's moving. It's a lot of space here. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Well, what do we need to do? Here, this one. Now, how the hell can I piss in this? <laughs> no, this is going to be a nice big tube. Believe me. You sure you can get me out of this thing? Yeah. Well, you can't get me in at the moment. Huh? Okay, you can put your hands down. <laughs> I'd like to tell you something. There's a fly in here, and I want to see if it survives. I'll spin it one, one, two, three. I'm trying to pick up the BBC World Service to give you your, the latest cricket score. No, got it on, sir. I'll leave Charles out of the How's the flight? How's the flight? Fly. How's the flight? Well, I can't see anything. It... It's dead. No, I just want to be sick. I okay. feel sick. I yeah. feel very sick. When did you start feeling less? When you went to bed? Just before you went to bed, or...? No. And the whole night you were feeling very bad? Yeah. OK. Uh, Mark, we must get you down with the fluid. You must take fluids. Yeah. Yeah? <coughs> Try to stop his headache. Take this down quick. Now you're forcing yourself, yeah? Forcing yourself to the, <coughs> the flame down. Saved my life. Charles is in slightly better shape than me, but he's got fluid on his lungs. What a couple of wimps. Charles, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty rough, to be frank. Oh, you in my bloody chest. Uh, but still, we can't space. I'll tell you what, you feel your age up here. I think that's a, I think that's a fair comment. 
but still. It could be colder. I feel not great, to tell you the truth. I feel very sick. I had a sleepless night. Uh, I feel better now that I'm moving around. I think it's true what Bernard said. If you, if you get altitude sickness, you must move around. You've got to get the oxygen around. Get out of that fucking tent! Bloody dogs eating our food. Um, I just lack of sleep. And, um, well, I've got to plod on. That's it. Can't think why anybody wants to climb a mountain, I must We're many days' walk from any medical help, and our lives are now at risk. I'm in no state to make decisions. I think there are times to be brave. I think there are times to make sensible decisions. And I think one, this is one of those occasions when, when we've actually got to make a sensible decision. And my feeling, my very strong feeling, Mark, is that we've got to take you down, down, not up. I know you want to go up. I think, I think you're showing um, all the symptoms of approaching serious AMS. I think we've got to take you down now. It is a bit difficult now because what's happened is, yes, we are quite high, high enough for some person to have symptoms of EMS. So from my point of view and what you just said earlier, uh, it is best for him to go down. My heart of hearts, obviously, one wants to go because one just looks, it's just there. Yeah. But one doesn't realize, you know, how high it is. You know, I'm too much of a risk to you all anyway. And, you know, according to Bernard, this is, and to you, we're experts, you know, this is, Classic, but I don't know, something to do with this pill or whatever, I don't know, but, um... No, I think withdraw, <sighs> recoup, rest, go for the Garuda Valley. <coughs> the mountain has beaten us. This is bad karma. While we've been struggling down, crowds have been gathering under its south face. They've come from every corner of Tibet, by truck, by pony, and on foot drawn to this desolate spot to celebrate Buddha's birthday. The festivities will center on the raising of a pole hung with ropes, festooned in prayer flags. There's a wonderful holiday atmosphere, a bit like a wild open-air Christmas picnic around a giant totem pole instead of a tree. And it's amazing the difference coming down just 2,000 feet. Maybe it's the thicker air, or the extra oxygen, or the party 